Narito na ulit si Sir Roland para ibahagi sa inyo ang bagong aralin sa mathematics. Para sa araw na ito, ituturo ko sa inyo ang pagsasolve ng routine and non-routine problems involving multiplication of decimals and mixed decimals including money using appropriate problem solving strategies. Tara na, simulan na natin. Para sa aralin na ito, ating sagutan ang ating word problem. La L paid 1,200 pesos as initial payment for a TV set. She promised that she will pay monthly payments of 863 pesos and 75 centavos for 24 months. What is its total cost? Meron tayong apat na steps na kailangang sundin sa pagsosolve ng word problems. Ang unang step ay understand. Understand what is asked. So, ano ba yung tinatanong sa ating word problem? So, ang tinatanong sa ating word problem for today is the total cost of the TV set. The second one is know the hidden question. Minsan, sa ating mga word problems, merong mga uh, hidden questions na kailangan muna natin masagot para masolve natin yung word problem. In this particular word problem, the hidden question is the total amount of monthly uh, money that Lael will pay for 24 months. And the third one to understand is what are the given facts. So the given facts are 1,200 pesos as initial payment and 863 pesos and 75 centavos for monthly installment for 24 months. Ang ating second step is plan. Plaplanohin natin kung paano natin isosolve ang ating word problem. So paano ba? What operation or operations shall we use to solve our problem? So in this uh, particular word problem, we're going to use multiplication and addition. The other one is, what is the number sentence? Paano ba natin isosolve or ano yung magiging equation natin for this problem? So first, we're going to multiply the amount for monthly payment, which is 863 pesos and 75 centavos, to the number of months, which is 24 months. Then, we're going to add the product to her initial payment of 1,200 pesos. So, ito na yung ating um, number sentence. 863 pesos and 75 centavos times 24 months plus 1,200 pesos equals N. The third step in solving uh, word problems is solve. Siyempre, after natin makuha ang ating number sentence, Ngayon naman ay, i-apply na natin yung ating nakuhang number sentence, which is 863 pesos and 75 centavos times 24 months plus 1,200 pesos na initial payment. So, do sa iba nating mga aralin, natatandaan pa ba natin yung PEMDAS or parenthesis, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So, ngayon, uunahin natin si multiplication. We're going to multiply 863 and 7500 times 24. So, proceed na tayo sa multiplication. So, we have 4 times 5 equals 20. So, we have 0 ones and regroup 2 tens. 4 times 7 equals 28 plus 2 equals 30. So, 0 ones, regroup 3 tens. 4 times 3 equals 12 plus 3 equals 15. So we have 5 ones and regroup 1 tenths. 4 times 6 equals 24, plus 1 equals 25. So we write 5 ones here and regroup 2 tenths. 4 times 8 equals 32, plus 2 equals 34. Next one, 2 times 5 equals 10, so 0 ones. Regroup, 1 tenths. 2 times 7 equals 14, plus 1 equals 15. 5 ones, regroup, 1 tenths. 2 times 3 equals 6, plus 1 equals 7. 2 times 6 equals 12, so we have 2 ones, and regroup, 1 tenths. 2 times 8 equals 16, plus 1 equals 17. Now, 
proceed na tayo sa addition ng ating partial product. So we have 0, 0 plus 0 is 0, 5 plus 5 equals 10, so we have 0 once and regroup 1 tenths. 1 plus 5 equals 6, plus 7 equals 13, so 3 ones regroup 1 tenths. 1 plus 4 equals 5, plus 2 equals 7. 3 plus 7 equals 10, so we have to write 0 ones here and regroup 1 tenths here. And finally, 1 plus 1 equals 2. Then, we're going to count uh, the decimal places. So, we have 1, 2. So, ang ating decimal point ay dito. After nating evaluate ang 863 and 7500 times 24, so, ito na yung kanya kinalabasan. 20,730. Ngayon naman, itutuloy na natin ang ating number sentence. So, we have to add 1,200. Let's proceed. 0 plus 0 equals 0. 3 plus 0 equals 3. 7 plus 2 equals 9. 0 plus 1 equals 1. And bring down 2. So after natin i-apply yung ilang mga steps sa ating pag-solve ng word problem, nag-come up na tayo sa ating final answer. So our final answer is... Uh, the total cost of the television set that Lael bought is 21,930 pesos. Ngayon naman, proceed tayo sa last step ng pagsasolve ng ating word problem para malaman natin kung talagang tama ang ating sagot. And the last step is check. We have to check yung ating word problem or yung ating sagot sa ating word problem. Now, we're going to proceed sa ating last step, which is check. So, kung kanina, uh, usually yung ating ginagawa kapag tayo nag-checking is we just do the working backwards method or pabalik naman yung ating method. Kabaligtaran yung ating ginawa kanina. Kung kanina, nag-add tayo, ngayon naman mag-subtract tayo. And kung kanina, nag-multiply tayo, this time we're going to use division. So, let's start. We're going to subtract the total cost by the amount na kanyang unang binayad. So, we have 21,830 minus 1,200. So, we have this. So, 0 minus 0 is 0. 3 minus 0 is 3. 9 minus 2 is 7. 1 minus 1 is 0 and bring down 2. So we have 20,730. So tapos na natin isubtract. Now we'll proceed to division. So 20,730 divided by kung ilang months niya uh, babayaran. So divided by 24. So we have 207 divided by 24. Ilang 24 ba meron sa 207? So, we have 8. 8 times 4 equals 32. So, we have ones here and regroup. 3 tenths. 8 times 2 equals 16 plus 3 equals 19. Then, we proceed to subtraction. 7 minus 2 equals 5. 0 minus 9. So, we cannot subtract 9 from 0. So, we're going to regroup 1 tenths mula sa ating 2. So, yung 2 magiging 1 tenths na lang. And si 10, since nag-regroup tayo ng 10 mula kay 2, magiging na siyang 10. So, 10 minus 9 is 1. And, we're going to bring down 3. Ilang 24 ba? Meron sa 153. 6. So, narito. 6 times 4 equals 24. So, 4 ones here. We're going to regroup 2 tenths. 6 times 2 
equals 12 plus 2 equals 14. So again, proceed to subtraction. So 3 minus 4 again, we cannot subtract 4 from 3. So we're going to regroup 1 tenths mula sa ating 5. So this will become 4. And since nag-regroup tayo ng 10 or 1 10, so C3 plus 10 will become 13. So 13 minus 4 equals 9. Then, si 5 hindi na siya 5 ngayon kasi nga nag-regroup tayo ng 1 10 kanina. So 4 na lang siya. 4 minus 4 equals 0 and 1 minus 1 equals 0. Then we bring down 0. Ilang 24 Ilang 24 meron sa 90. So, we have 3 and 24 equals 90. And uh, 2 ones here and regroup 1 tenths here. 3 times 2 equals 6 plus 1 equals 7. And again, proceed to subtraction. 0 minus 2. So, we cannot subtract 2 from 0. So again, we're going to regroup 1 tenths sa ating 9. So this will become 8. And idadagdag natin siya sa ating 0. So 10 plus 0 equals 10. 10 minus 2 equals 8. Then 8 minus 7 equals 1. And since meron pa tayong remainder, we will just simply add 0. And remember, pag nagdagdag tayo ng 0, maglalagay na tayo ng decimal point sa kung saan natin natapos yung pagdi-divide sa whole number. So, we have to bring down 0. So, sa so 180, ilang 24 kaya meron? So, we have 7. 7 times 4 equals 28. So, uh, 8 ones here and regroup 2 tens here. 7 times 2 equals 14, plus 2 equals 16. So, 0 minus 8, we cannot subtract 8 from 0. So, again, regroup 1 tenths from 8. So, pwede na siya, naging na siyang 10. 10 minus 8 equals 2. 7 minus 6 equals 1. And 1 minus 1 equals 0. Again, since meron pa tayong remainder, add lang tayo ng 0. So, bring down 0. So, 120. Ilang 24 meron? Meron tayong 5. So, 5 times 4 equals 20. So, 0. Regroup. 2 tenths. 5. Times 2 equals 10, plus 2 equals 12. So, 120 minus 120 equals 0. So, nung i-divide natin yung ating 20,730 sa 24, we got 863 pesos and 75 centavos, which is yung amount na Prinamis nila L na kanyang babayaran for 24 months. Isang lesson na naman ang ating natapos. Maraming salamat sa panonood mga matlits. So hanggang dito na lang. Hanggang sa susunod nating video. And kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel All on LOYTC. At i-click nyo ang notification bell para ma-notify kayo sa mga bagong i-upload naming videos. Maraming salamat.